Hello and welcome to Kadoink Studios. I have for you today another community replay, this time sent to me by Angry Probes, who is of course spawning as the blue Protoss player up in the top right of Cloud Kingdom, and his opponent is Chaotic the Red Terran. Angry Probes, for those of you who don't know, is one of my absolute favorite players. Um, he's just an awesome guy. He participated in the Gold and Below tournament, which you should check out if you haven't seen that. He did really quite well in it. Uh, and I hope he will be continuing to play in tournaments and continuing to do well. He plays all three races really quite well. Uh, and he's very, very good at Protoss, so I'm excited to see this PVT. So, Angry Probes, thank you so much for sending me this replay. I'm very excited to cast it. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, at the time this video is being uploaded, I've recently gotten back from Europe, and so I'm just getting into the swing of things, casting things once again. Uh, and I'm very, very excited to do this, as casting is one of my favorite things. StarCraft is absolutely one of my favorite things. And so I'm, I'm doing two things. I'm starting to cast more, uh, and hopefully going to get more community replays and get more videos up for everyone. And the other thing is I'm starting to play more. I'm trying to get at least one or two hours in a day, if not more, um, depending on time. Like, bare minimum, if I'm busy all day, like I was yesterday, for example, try to get two, re two, two hours in. Um, and try to get up into that Master League. Yeah, I am a Diamond League player, but I w I'm really like disappointed with my play. I think I could do better. So I'm trying to practice and, and get better, and I hope all of you are too, and hopefully these videos and, and these replays will help inspire you to continue to play, because StarCraft is just one of the coolest things ever. So anyway, we have Angry Probes scouting around the base. He, does, he sees no gas, uh, so he can assume that there's going to be some sort of expansion build most likely, maybe a gasless expand uh, as he just hit 16 and he didn't put a gas so it's not going to be 15 gas expands uh, which is something I do a lot on the ladder in the meantime Anger Probes got his gateway up, got an assimilator up, he will be putting down his cybernetics core so some pretty usual things out of Angry Probes could still be going for a 4 gate, uh, getting his second assimilator up so he can have a little bit more gas, probably to get some early sentries out as well as some early stalkers. And look at this, we have Chaotic indeed going for the gas to expand, kind of a little bit nervous getting it on the high ground. Um, you really can't afford to be greedy and, and get it, especially if you get a bunker up really early. You can do that without any sort of problems. Uh, as we see, the Zealot is just now popping out, and there are two Marines out, four Chaotic, a third on the way. So by the time that Zealot gets there, he should be able to deal with it. Um, and he, even if he didn't, the Zealot isn't going to be able to kill that command center on the low ground. So everything will be A-OK. -okay. The only thing to think of is on this map, there's not a ramp here. So you don't really have the, the upper ground advantage. So that's, that's one thing, kind of in Chaotic's favor of building it on the high ground. In the meantime, it looks like Angry Probes isn't doing anything too aggressive. He's chrono boosting out his pros rather than his warp gate or his stalker. So he just wants to be going for a kind of more economical build. Probably going to be taking a few more gateways and then maybe a nexus afterwards pretty shortly, af uh, pretty shortly after building the gateways. In fact, the second gateway just now going down. Command Center is indeed done. We'll see if he floats it off now or builds an orbital first. He is going to be getting that orbital command first. And he's also getting up a few more barracks as well as an engineering base. So it looks like he wants to be going for a heavy bio play, getting those early upgrades, also getting that double gas quite early as well. Would like to see some tech labs on these, uh, on at least one of these barracks, so he can be getting combat shield, be getting uh, some marauders up. And yes, indeed, the tech lab is going down. Also taking the watchtower with his SCV. Very great play by Chaotic. In the meantime, it looks like two more gateways, or excuse me. One more gateway and a robotics facility have gone up for Angry Probes. So kind of a three-gate robo play, very, very common. Uh, a very good build as well. And he will be turning these gateways into warp gates here after warp gate technology has finished. And then he'll probably be producing some sentries just to make sure he can uh, force field this off if any kind of early attack comes out by the Terran player. He doesn't have any vision of the map, and so it is a very, very possible... Um, it's very, very possible at this point. Uh, but he is, however, building stalkers while his opponent is building marines. So this will do very, very well. And he's even moving out, trying to apply some early pressure if possible. He will take this watchtower. 
and then move on from there. He might just take the watchtower and pull back, make it seem like he's going to attack, uh, giving Chaotic that vision, and then pull back. Sometimes it's good to play mind games like that, force a bunker or two, which Chaotic is indeed building. And we do have Stim coming out at this time as well as plus one attack. I really do prefer getting combat shield first because you don't have those early medevacs and so you Stim your units and they weaken and then they stay weakened. Um, but he is kind of dealing with that by putting his factory up a little a little bit early and it's going to be getting that starport out to get those medevacs. Looks like Angry Probes is playing pretty passively, just kind of moving forward, taking these watchtowers, and now he'll be going in with the aggression now that he has these three sentries. With these sentries, he can block off the back of the, the bunker so that SCVs can't repair it as, as easily. Um, but it looks like he doesn't want to engage quite yet because he knows that... Um, he knows that there are a good amount of forces out and the bunker can be st quite strong. But he does now have an observer. He will be able to get into the base with the observer and see what is going on, give him a little bit of extra vision. Also reinforcing with some stalkers. If he wants to put the pressure on, I would like to see uh, a probe with this army so he can put down a few pylons so he can warp in right there at Chaotic's front door. In the meantime, it looks like he's going to be expanding behind this, which is great. Uh, also getting an Immortal out so he can just have some more tanky units. The Immortal going to be quite effective against the Marauders, but actually the Marines will do quite well against it. Especially with Stem on the way, and Combat Shield is just about finished. Uh, looks like he cancelled something right there so he can build an Armory. And, ooh, actually he's building two Armories. I don't know what the decision behind this is. Perhaps he meant to build a Starport, but kind of messed up. That would be, oh, so bad for Chaotic. Um, but it'll allow him to get some upgrades up. He can get that plus one uh, ship weapons. Oh yeah, he is canceling that. That was indeed a blunder. Uh, but it's a good thing he caught on early and canceled that. He doesn't really need to. He's not going any kind of mech play. So really the only upgrade he'll need is the plus one attack for his Vikings. And he's going to be using this factory as a scout. Very common thing to do. A uh, very good thing to do. Stalkers will be trying to take it out as much as possible, but it looks like it will be able to make it past. Also going to be trying to destroy these destructible rocks so he can just get a better concave, but oh man, stimming forward, trying to pick off whatever he can. If he had, because of Shelly, would have would have been able to catch more off guard, but Angry Probes turns around and starts to attack. Uh, a nice force field going down, blocking a lot of the units and allowing him to run away, doing a little bit of damage and then just pulling back. But look at this, in the meantime, Angry Probes has gotten his expansion up. He is uh, saturating it with some probes, so just great play by Angry Probes. Um, would like to see some forges coming out for him to get some upgrades. Would also like to see a robotics facility, or excuse me, a robotics bay, so that he can produce uh, those ever-important colossi. And look, as soon as I say that, two forges go up, some more gateways. He's really going in production mode, having two robotics facility. This is going to be so expensive. He's going to want a third here pretty soon, and he's definitely going to want these two assimilators that he's building. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, Chaotic is moving forward with some Marines as well as some Marauders. Just taking that Watchtower, probably going to be going over to this one here pretty soon as well. Also going to be using that factory as a scout. Angry Probes did use this Observer to see that his opponent moved out, and I think that was one of the reasons he wanted to take this Watchtower, was just to make sure no attacks were coming. The Marine is going to be stemming forward and going to this third base just to make sure that he hadn't taken three bases and was too, too greedy. And now that he sees that he hasn't, he knows that might not be as safe to attack yet. He's going to wait for those medevacs. However, he does see this very small army thanks to the factory. And now he will be moving forward with a lot of marauders and a lot of marines. Ooh, he's going to be picking off this immortal. And oh man, this is looking very bad. He really needs to force fill this ramp. Great force field by Angry Probes. Absolutely phenomenal. Will allow him to run away and warp in more units uh, to protect his natural. So some stalkers and some zealots being warped in at this time. Great play. Great play by Angry Probes. Also, he's gotten these forges up. Really needs to be getting the upgrades out. However, he is quite low on gas. Immortals are very, very gas heavy. Also saving up to get that robotics bay, which is also gas heavy. Um, so now what I would say Angry Probes needs to be doing is getting a nice little Zealot army because he's so low on gas, and then pushing out and taking an early third. He really needs that economy boost. Really also needs to be producing more probes as this is not nearly as saturated as it should be. 
meantime, it looks like Chaotic kind of wants to push forward. He's attacking these destructible rocks, uh, so he can make sure he gets a good concave. Angry Probes is able to see that with a Zealot. And so he knows he needs to move his army down. A nice scan going down, seeing all the army. Uh, probably knows he shouldn't engage that quite yet. These two sentries could get some nice force fields off and uh, further block the army from doing any damage. So he will be pulling back, continuing to macro. He has a third command center just finishing as an orbital. He will lift that up, move it to the third, and take a little bit of an economic advantage. In fact, if we look at the income tab, it's looking great for Chaotic. Uh, continuing to move forward, continuing to to produce, just doing a great job getting those medevacs out, getting a lot of barracks out, and continuing to get those upgrades already researching plus three weapons attack. So Angry Probes really needs to jump on the ball as far as upgrades are concerned. He is just now getting his plus one attack uh, and should make use of this other forge as well. However, he's producing two Colossi at a time, which is so gas heavy. Colossi costs 200 gas? Yeah, 200 gas. Um, which is so expensive, as you can see, it's it's taking him a long time to get that up, so he really wants to take this third base so he can have that gas production. And really wants to be producing zealots as well, so that he's not spending the gas on those very gas-heavy sentries and stalkers. Two Colossi do pop out, um, and he'll probably be producing more pretty shortly. Actually opting to get the Thermal Lance first, as well as a Twilight Council. Most likely to get Zealot legs, as he will need those Zealots to be as strong as possible. Um, but we'll have to see what he decides to do. Hopefully his Observer is seeing this army, and he does click on these units and see that they are at plus two, plus two. And hopefully he'll see this drop as well, and he does have some Zealots to deal with this as well as some Cannons. Great play by Angry Probes. Just dealing with this in a very minimal but effective way. And continuing to use this Chrono Boost on stuff like upgrades, as well as Thermal Lance. So this this drop is going across the map. We'll have to see how effective it is. These two cannons will do a lot of damage to the Metavax. Might even be able to kill it. Um, ooh, and it looks like Angry Probes is going to be gearing up to take a third. Great decision. And, oh, look at this. Pylon, or excuse me, the cannon catching this medevac, and so he will be warping in some stalkers to try to deal with it. He also has these two colossi with thermal lance almost finished, uh, so he could be able to pick that off. And oh man, even though that does go down, it does spot these two robotics facilities, and it does spot the robotics bay. So now he really needs to be in mass Viking production, which you can see he did start that uh, with you know having a few Vikings out already and getting some more. However, at this time, he should attack. He has a very, very nice army. A lot of medevacs, a lot of vikings, only two colossi on the field. Uh, actually, three at this time. So he really needs to make use the advantage that he has. He supplies 192 to 134, but he's just not sealing the deal. Uh, it is very hard to attack up these ramps, so what he needs to do is just rush up this ramp um, since there's nothing there and get in a good position and use those vikings to kill these colossi as quickly as possible. However, Angry Probe's third is just working its way towards halfway done. He's also getting a lot more zelts. Um, I do believe he got zelt speed. Yes, indeed, it has finished. He's also just about finished with plus one armor, and his plus two attack is on its way as well. Uh, about halfway done for that. Getting a few more pylons and a few more uh, observers just so he can continue to spot the army and spot the base. Another command center going down by Chaotic. This is great. When you're ahead, just keep expanding like you're doing. And you will do quite well. Look at this awesome <laughs> this awesome supply depot. Like, land of supply depots. However, if a drop comes down, he could supply block him heavily. But it looks like Chaotic wants to move out. He will be going for that third. This could be so, so huge. Uh, Thankfully, Angry Probes does have this, the Observer on the army, and here comes the big attack of Scan going down. Some nice uh, attacks being being done by these Colossi. The Zealots are moving up and doing a lot of damage as well. Uh, Zealot Legs doing a lot of damage, and actually a lot of the Vikings go down to the sentries, and now the three Colossi are able to do damage without any risk of dying. Um, so this could be very, very huge. However, it is a little bit risky walking up this ramp. The Marauder stimming forward, picking off one, two of the Colossi. The third one really needs to be pulled back as it could dive very, very quickly. However, Thermal Lance is so, so strong, and these sentries doing a lot of damage. Oh, and the third Colossi does indeed go down. 
for angry probes but man angry probes just relentlessly reinforcing with these stalkers taking down the rest of the marauders great play by angry probes evening up the supply 95 to 98 wow just incredible incredible engagements by angry probes with some great positioning allowing him to do all that damage and now he's doing an attack of his own finishing off these destructible rocks however it's kind of unwise as uh, chaotic will be able to reinforce a lot better even pulling some SCVs maybe to block any kind of zealot play and angry probes knows he needs to pull back at this time he is pulling back as best as he can but there are two more colossi reinforcing the SCVs will go down very very quickly he's trying to pick down these vikings so that the colossi don't go down one of the Colossi getting dangerously low, he is microing it back, great play by Angry Probes, one of the Colossi does go down, but he does keep the other one alive in the red, and oh, the Viking turning around and trying to do some damage, but it is picked off, and the other Colossi does finally go down, and Angry Probes now will definitely have to pull back and make sure he secures this third base and gets his gas production running again, uh, as well as his mineral production, as his minerals are quite low. Um, he is transferring a ton of probes. This is going to be so good. His income is really low at this time, only at 800, but it will boost forward once these probes make it to the base, uh, to the third base. Also, he's going to be continuing to produce these colossi, which have been so, so strong. It's so pivotal in these engagements. And he's also getting that plus three attack, going to be probably getting that plus two armor as well. Also opted to get plus one uh, shields, which is very, very interesting. But it's a good thing to get. It's, it is very, very helpful. Um, especially when your opponent doesn't have any ghosts. They can't take your shields down all that quickly. So why not, you know, if uh, you can't afford the plus two armor at this time because of unit production, might as well get uh, use those forges and get the uh, shield upgrade instead. So we do see a scan going down. It will see that there's only one Colossi at this time. So Chaotic knows he has a bit of a window and he is going to be pushing forward. But man, two more Colossi are about to pop as well, and then he is continuing to produce in these robotics facilities, never stopping, just always producing either Observers or, uh, or Colossi. So just great play by Angry Probes, continuing to saturate his bases. Um, has quite a bit of gas, so he doesn't even need to take these refineries right now. And just continuing to produce Zealots. The Zealots were so good in that last engagement. Uh, he was able to use the Zelt legs to run up and take a lot of hits on these Marauders. Marauders just don't have the DPS to kill uh, Zealots very quickly. And with Concussive Shell, you can slow them down quite a bit, but because they have Zelt legs, it kind of they kind of negate each other, and the Zelts are able to land anyway. And because the DPS of the Marauders are a bit slower, um, just incredible amounts of damage done by the, the, the Zealots um, against the Marauders. So it looks like Angry Probes is just kind of bouncing back and forth, watching with his sentry or with his uh, excuse me, his observer, to see where the army of Chaotic is. Able to pick off one of those Vikings, which is so awesome. Continuing to produce zealots, some scans going down. He sees exactly where Angry Probes' army is, um, and he's going to be moving his Vikings around, trying to get a good hit. But man. Angry Probes is just on top of it with his Vikings, keeping him up front, or excuse me, his Stalkers, keeping him up front so he can deal with the Vikings uh, and not get any hits off on the Colossi. And man, all this is buying him incredible amounts of time. He has four, four Colossi. That's incredible. And two more have just now finished. So he will have a total of six. That's so huge. Six Colossi against three Vikings? Four Vikings? That's nothing. The Vikings don't even matter at that point. Uh, there's just too much of an army. And now he's saying, you know what? I'm ready to engage you. Uh, I, I have plus two, or plus three attack. I'm getting plus two shields. There's no reason why I shouldn't get ready to engage your army. You don't have that many Vikings. You don't have that much of anything at all. In fact, oh my goodness. He actually just got another Colossi. So I think he's up at seven. Seven Colossi. This is huge, and now he will be moving forward. This Thermal Lance doing a lot of damage. These Vikings just doing nothing because there's too many Colossi. Uh, the Zealots move in did, did a nice bit of damage. Some good force fields uh, allowing the, the Colossi to get a few more hits off. Um, but wow, look at this. One of the Colossi does go down. However, it is a little bit too late. Chaotix is going to have to pick everything up and fly away uh, and reinforce with a few more 
units. However, there are only two Vikings on the field. This is going to be so bad for Chaotic. <laughs> Jesus, Chaotic says just so many Colossi. That's what happens when you just sit and let your opponent build up this nice force. So now the Viking trying to do what it can, but it does get picked off. And now Angry Probes will be able to move into a, the main. A nice force by Chaotic, but Angry Probes just has so many Colossi. Look at that. Thermal Lance just crushing everything, even though there are a lot of medevacs. And now Chaotic basically doesn't have an army, and Angry Probes, even though he's left with only two Colossi, has a ton of Stalkers, a ton of Sentries. He can get up and force field this ramp if he wants to. Just do a ton of damage, and there's the GG by Chaotic. Wow, fantastic play by Angry Probes. Just turtling, 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 building up a huge Colossi force and pushing out and doing tons of damage. Great play. I love that. Very epic game indeed. So thank you very much, Angry Probes, for sending me this replay. If you guys would like your replays casted, please send those to kadoinkreplays at gmail.com. And I do request that you only send one. Uh, replay two at the most because I really, um, if I get six emails with six replays, then I, I have a hard time casting them all and I don't know what is the best game. So just send me your best game and I'll definitely get it casted for you and uploaded. Uh, another big request is please comment on the videos. Just tell me what you think. Uh, tell me about your day. I don't really care. Just comment. I, I do love reading those and I love responding to those. It is so much fun for me. And like the video, subscribe, all that stuff as well. So yeah, this is Kadoink uh, at Kadoink Studios. Thank you so much for watching this replay. I will have more videos coming your way. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, and I will see you guys later.